I'm over at the other corner. This is across from the uh, Occupy corner. These are non-politically uh, organized people and they get treated much worse. Uh, they don't know the law. They're not politically organized. So, um, they got... It's all right. You can film right there. Well, I can... I just... You know, I'm not... Don't stop the yellow tape. We're not trying to watch the yellow tape. Just stop right back over there. Well, I want to... I want to make sure I capture all the interactions That's fine, but we're going to ask you to stand a little bit further It's usually, like, five feet is, like, what... You've got a loader coming in. You've got a loader coming Yeah. Let me get over on this side. Let me get over on this side. There you go. You can see, uh... Houses have their stuff, and it's all gonna go away. That's the. Uh, this creates houselessness. Taken away. West Chun throwing stuff into the back hole. Everything that's going into the back hole goes into the garbage. You can see uh, suitcases. Yes, this is live, April 30th. Monday or a little before noon here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Police and city crews just conducted a raid on Occupy Honolulu. Have moved over uh, after they taped it, taped it off as a crime scene, and they moved over to the other corner where we have uh, non-politically organized uh, positions taken away. You can see blankets. Uh, shaving toiletries and that sort of thing, uh, Altoid, uh, breast mint kind of candies and that sort of thing, blankets uh, to keep them warm. It's all been thrown out. This is uh, yeah. Yeah. as a PhD in engineering. The cabinet position. You can see a lot of uh, engineering expertise needed. Now these supplies going into into the uh, what look like garbage cans actually will be stored. Owners can reclaim them. However, in order to reclaim the property, we'll need credit card receipts. Homeless people, in order to reclaim property, tents, suitcases, blankets, um, toiletries, medications and whatnot will need credit card receipts, which means this stuff is not going to be recovered. It'll be thrown away in 30 days. The person that uh, determines whether you can pick them up or not is in fact West Chai. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, trucks and whatnot. Factor the cost in. divided by the number of uh, houses people created and you have uh, the cost to create each houseless person. There go clothes, uh, people without houses are great gleaners of stuff off the sidewalk, get use out of stuff that uh, isn't being used. Uh, there are baskets and stuff, things that keep their things organized, having all their stuff taken. No help for the uh, houses. The Office of Housing uh, didn't send a rep. Usually sends uh, Trish Morikawa, who's a coordinator, salary of $80,000. She's not here. But West Chan, that's West here. He has a PhD in engineering but gets $112,000. Takes a lot of engineering know-how. The cabinet position and uh, 
I hope he doesn't have political ambitions because This is uh, going to end up as part of his video curriculum vitae. You know what I'm saying? Pull this up. Now these are going into storage, but there's no way any houseless person can recover his stuff because they don't have credit card receipts. This stuff in the back hole goes in the big truck and that's just trash. That's gone. They bring stuff. But really what we need is a solution to this. What Occupy Honolulu is about is asking people to get together and figure out a way to make society a little bit more fair. To eliminate the influence of the corporations and big money on public policy. Not going into storage, but going into that dump truck. If you don't like what's going on, come down tomorrow. May Day, don't go to work, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Free food, music, we're going to have a generator, amplify music, we have a license. There goes the truck. That truck, the dump truck, goes to the dump. Most of it full of a house.